quiet quitting, burnout, stress, or bad managers. Quiet quitting relies on finding a successful balance between work expectations and personal boundaries. Forbes shares this insight. Quiet quitting your job, also referred to as acting your wage, ensures that your professional life stays within the bounds of working hours and assigned duties. Quiet quitting is not quitting your job. Quiet quitting is described as doing your job without your job taking over your entire life. Quiet quitting was coined in a March 2022 tweet. And the idea has gained popularity as a work option. Employees have embraced this movement to set work boundaries, prioritize their interests outside the workday, and maintain a better work-life balance. Quiet quitting is a way for workers to regain control of their lives and avoid burnout or stress. It can be done in many ways, but the goal is to make a change by taking action. It could mean making small changes in your workday that help you get through it more easily, like setting boundaries around how much time you spend working, intentionally taking breaks or time away, or shutting down your phone or computer at a specific time. Quiet quitting can also involve taking, talking to your manager about possible changes that would benefit the workplace. Whatever quiet quitting looks like for you, remember that there are therapy options and resources available to support you in finding balance at work. How does quiet quitting relate to mental health? Quiet quitting is often seen as a response to burnout and stress. It's important to note that quiet quitting is not necessarily an induction indication of mental health issues, though it can be a sign of them. We always need to strive to find a good work-life balance, making sure our job doesn't dominate all of our working time, alongside still being present and interested in our work. There is a way to be still engaged with your work while having, also having clear boundaries. Quiet quitting may be an attempt by workers to regain control of their lives and avoid future stress or anxiety in their job. At its core, quiet quitting can act as a coping mechanism for those feeling overwhelmed and unable to move forward in their current work situation. By quietly quitting, workers can reclaim their life and directly control the source of their stress. This also, this can help to reduce anxiety in the short term, but quiet quitting may not be a sustainable solution for those dealing with more serious mental health issues. In some cases, quiet quitting can become an act of self-sabotage. It is done impulsively without considering potential repercussions. It is important to remember that quiet quitting should be used as a last resort after other options have been explored. Suppose you're feeling overwhelmed or stuck in your current situation. In that case, it may be beneficial to reach out with therapists or mental health professional who can help you cope and manage your stress levels more effectively. Ultimately, quiet quitting can be a valid option for those feeling overwhelmed in their current role. However, workers must consider the potential repercussion on their mental health before taking this approach. Speak with a therapist or mental health professional who can help you understand why you feel the way you do in your current situation. How do bad managers contribute to quiet quitting? If you're a manager, ponder this question, this thought from Harvard Business Review. Suppose you have multiple employees you believe are quietly quitting. In that case, an excellent question to ask yourself is, is this a problem with my direct reports or is this a problem with me and my leadership abilities? Bad managers can have a significant impact on quiet quitting. Poor management practices such as micromanaging, setting unrealistic expectations, lack of communication, lack of trust and respect, and overall unfair treatment can all contribute to burnout and lead employees to quiet quit out of frustration or despair. When workers feel that their efforts are not being recognized or appreciated, they may feel unvalued and overwhelmed. This can lead to quiet quitting to take back control of their lives and find a healthier working environment. So from Forbes, they said quiet quitting is a direct result of employees feeling un in their position, unappreciated, unsupported, under compensated, unmotivated, or unimportant. The 
In some cases, bad managers may also create an environment of fear where workers are afraid to speak up or express themselves due to potential repercussions. This can have a detrimental effect on employee morale and further contribute to quiet quitting. Employers need to create an open and supportive work environment that encourages trust, communication, and respect to reduce the likelihood of quiet quitting. Three behaviors managers can adopt. So one, create positivity. Build common ground, go the extra mile, and establish mutual trust with all direct reports. Bring consistency. Deliver on what you promise and show you care. Three, deliver expertise. Provo provide an open and honest dialogue about the path forward and insight into expectations. Take steps to prevent quiet quitting. Employers can take steps to create better working environments that reduce the likelihood of quiet quitting. First, they should ensure that they are providing a supportive and safe atmosphere with open communication. This includes fostering um, an environment of trust, respect, and appreciation for employees and encouraging constructive feedback between workers and managers. Second, employees should be aware of the signs of burnout and work to support employees struggling with stress or other forms of mental illness. Take steps such as having flexible schedules, offering paid vacation time, and implementing wellness programs can help reduce worker stress levels. Finally, employers need to re recognize the potential consequences of quiet quitting. Creating conditions that migrate, mitigate these risks can help to encourage workers to stay dedicated to the company. By taking these steps, employers can create better working environments that reduce the likelihood of quiet quitting and promote employee well-being.